everyone, and welcome to Biology Professor. Today we're going to learn how to convert between three different temperature scales. These are Fahrenheit, Celsius, and Kelvin. First of all, let's talk about temperature. How hot or cold one object is relative to another is what we know of as temperature. This means that all temperatures are relative, so they're being compared to something else. You can think of it like this. Temperature indicates heat flow. And specifically heat flow from a hotter object to a cooler object. So for example, if you accidentally place your hand on an oven burner that's very, very hot, that transfers a lot of heat, a lot of heat energy, from the burner into your hand. And that's what you feel is the difference with how hot the burner is. Now let's talk about those three different temperature scales. There's Fahrenheit. So degrees Fahrenheit. In our calculations, we will abbreviate it as TF. There's also degrees Celsius, which we'll abbreviate in our calculations as TC. And there's also Kelvin. Kelvin does not have a degree symbol. It's simply K. And in our calculations, we'll call it TK. So now let's talk about the calculations themselves. How do you convert from one temperature scale to another? To convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, you use this equation. That is, the temperature in Fahrenheit is equal to 1.8 times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. Let's do an example. Let's say that we want to convert from 10 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit. Well, this would be 1.8 times 10 degrees Celsius plus 32, and this is going to equal 1.8 times 10 is 18, plus 32, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So 10 degrees Celsius is equal to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. The calculation to get from Celsius to Kelvin is a little easier. It's just the temperature in Celsius plus 273.15. So for example, if we start with that 10 degrees Celsius again, the temperature in Kelvin is the 10 degrees Celsius plus 273.15, which equals 283. 15 Kelvin. You may have heard of something called absolute zero. Absolute zero is equal to zero Kelvin. It is the coldest possible temperature. And it only occurs when all of the atoms and molecules have completely stopped moving. There is no place on Earth that is as cold as absolute zero. Every place on Earth is still warm enough for there to be some atoms and molecules that are able to vibrate, that still have the energy to vibrate. Even outer space is slightly warmer than absolute zero. Now let's briefly talk about how to get from Fahrenheit to Celsius. That is, if you were given Fahrenheit and asked to convert to Celsius, you could do that simply by rearranging this equation. If you're interested in learning how to solve equations like that, see my video called Solving Equations. But basically, it has to do with isolating the variable that you need. So if we had the temperature in Fahrenheit, we wanted to solve for the temperature in Celsius, we would simply rearrange this equation by subtracting 32 from each side and then dividing by 1.8. This means that TC equals TF minus 32 divided by 1.8. If you'd like to see how to go through the steps to get from this one to this one, again, see that video on solving equations. But that is it for today. Thanks for watching Biology Professor.